Hello, people. This is Bear from Bear Wave, and uh, my apologies. Um, I'm still alive. Sorry if I haven't posted in um, quite some time, but life is busy. Um, I should probably try to focus more on the channel. I got an email from um, a member asking for the Nasdaq, um, so I figured, you know what? Let's just save 10, 15 minutes, do the video, uh, and try to be as consistent as possible. Got many things going on um main thing is um university uh, which is obviously takes quite some time and that's the main thing that is preventing me from making further videos but that's uh, could also be an excuse it just takes me about 10 to 20 minutes to to do a video i don't really do much editing as a matter of fact i do almost no editing at all um and uh, so i will try to be more consistent so today we're gonna go over the U.S. indices, maybe the Nasdaq, and then uh, maybe tomorrow or midweek uh, over uh, cryptos, Bitcoin, ETH, uh, maybe Solana. We'll, we'll see. Take a look at. Uh, happy to take on uh, a request. And obviously, if you want to stay updated more, uh, just join the Discord. It's absolutely free, and the link is down below. That being said, uh, what is happening with the Nasdaq? So, if you've been watching um, probably one of the last videos about the U.S. market which my date, uh, maybe even two to three months ago, I did say, um, I'm sure that about that, uh, we could have expected resistance at 20,000. Now look at where 20 is, right there. I'll draw a line for you, as you might uh, not be able to see it quite clearly on mobile. That's 20. Well, why would I have expected something like that at 20. Well, it's, it's you know, you could call it a psychological level. Uh, two is a fib number. One, two, um, three, five, eight. Uh, actually, two is the only even prime number as well. Uh, fun fact. And uh, it's just 20. Uh, it's a whole number. It's a psychological number. Um, so you would expect, um, you know, resistance in this case might have been support um, at that number. And uh, we did. Now, one thing I want to show you before we zoom um, closer, uh, we're on the weekly here. Uh, this is my best count, my preferred count, um, a one, two, one, two, and this could be, you know, three and four. Uh, it, it honestly, this thing right here, two and four are both uh, pretty much uh, sharp, which is not ideal, um, so it makes me question uh, whether these are correction of the same degree. Uh, could something like this happen? Yes, but uh, I can see I can count five ways up here. So I don't know. My preferred count says um, or suggests rather that we just completed a uh, wave one primary one down in two and then upside. So we based on on this count we may enter a major bull market. Is that possible? Yes. Will that happen? I have no idea. If I knew, I wouldn't be here making videos on YouTube, but I would be on uh, stranded on a beach at the Caribbean's. I hope we, oh, oopsie, I hope we will agree on that. Now, that being said, uh, that's the only thing I don't like. I'll uh, cycle two and four pretty much look the same. Um, not size, but uh, shape of both sideways and if you know alternation one should look more of a sharp correction and one should and the other should be more of a sideways correction doesn't mean flat and zigzag it only talks about when it comes to wave two and fours uh, sharp and uh, you know sideways so that being said i want to show you volume on the uh, cfds this is tick volume and that's what we want to see when we want when we um are uh, forecasting a bearish, uh, let's say the start of something bearish. Uh, increased volume on the way down, I suggest this most likely is some sort of a wave A or one. Uh, in my case, I would, um, I mean, I'm forecasting a wave A. Now, go on to the daily, let's count it together because I haven't looked at this in quite some time. So, so far so good, as long as far as I can see, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, tiny four and up for five. Now, as I said, my best count um, 
and guess obviously is that we completed something right here um, primary one so now I'm, I'm going to switch colors because I started to take on new colors um, which are actually not that visible but um, hope you'll forgive me uh, so so now it's all um, a question of how deep I mean, I mean question number one is uh, will this correction, I mean, am I right? If so, which, I mean, it's already uh, quite a big step, uh, what correction, what type of correction are we going to get? To answer that, once again, I have no clue. Um, so I would most likely expect a bounce at some point. Um, 18,000 would be a pretty nice area where we can see a bounce. Um, so pretty soon. And then ideally for the downside. Now at that point, uh, let's see something like this happens. Um, then the question is, is this going to be it? And are we going to, you know, resume higher? Obviously, I have no clue. Um, perhaps uh, one thing, let me know down in the comments. Um, one thing I could do is start to do, you know, daily updates on the intraday. Uh, so maybe short videos, five to ten minutes, ten minutes at most. Uh, but uh, you know, go on to the intraday and then once in a while, um, check out the overall long-term count. Let me know if that's something that may interest you. Um, but uh, yeah, one, two. So even if we go into the four-hour, let's see what the subdivision looks like. Uh, yeah, during you does this. I need to. I don't like this. I think I'm going to unsubscribe from the uh, pay from the pro plan. I don't know what, what, what the plan it is. I don't have the most expensive one, but doing this just you know, feels like it's money not well spent. Um, unless they want to sponsor me at that point. Dream of you if you're watching, if you want to sponsor me. Um, just just do, please. Uh, anyways, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, three, four, five. Yeah, it's possible, something like this. Three, four, five. Let me happen. Pull back and then more downside. Ideally, 20K keeps um, acting as resistance. There you go. So that's ideal. As long as 20K provides resistance, then we could expect further downside. Now you may ask, Barry, will it your downside? No. Most likely, I won't. Uh, would you recommend to? I am not here to give financial advice. Obviously, none of this is financial advice. Um, so that's what I would expect is going to happen. I have no clue, uh, but uh, I will try to do my best at keep um, everything, uh, un you know, monitor anything, and uh, we'll keep you posted here on YouTube as well as on Discord. Now, let's take a look at uh, the S and P. Was cash market this one? Yeah, this one. So for the SP, let's take a look at the weekly. Let's see what I have here. Um, we might even have to go with the monthly. Sometimes it's good to look back. Okay. Okay. Okay, so I remember I have. So this is uh, very possible, you know, some sort of one, two, three, four, five into cycle um, five. I remember, I should have it here somewhere, um, that I also was contemplating the possibility of the fact, and again, this is obviously for the long term, that wave one ended here. So you had one, two, three, four, five, ABC two, three, four, five. Now. Wave count validation for that would end one, two, three. Wave count validation for that would end at uh, right here equality. Why? Because if this is wave three, if this is three and four, that's three. Uh, obviously, three would be shorter than one, and hence uh, five must be shorter than um, three. So. That would be in validation at 7,700. We'll see how that plays out. 
Um, if not, there's a pretty valid count, and this actually would pretty much be kind of be in line uh, with the NASDAQ. Um, yeah. Um, now I now let's delete this. Okay, so here we seem to be having so that's wrong with the S and P one two three four five one two three four five so three. Let's go straight to the daily. Different count um, to the Nasdaq, as you can see. Uh, let's see if we get still you know, sort of a correction. Uh, the fact they do not hint at you know the same count, same direction, but not this kind of same count. Should that be concerning? I not really. Um, considering we did not cross here, there is also a case for one, two, three, four, five. Now, if that's the case, then you could argue this is one, two, three, four, five, of some degree. Uh, this would be well. If this is intermediate, no. This yeah. If this is intermediate, oh wait, maybe I'll just let me create a new folder. So. Right. Um, so let's let's see if something. Okay. So just th 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 basically, it would be this count. Um, minor. It would have to be minor, um, as this would be primary uh, one. And get rid of this. I'll leave you this. I'll just fix the degree. And then here you could label it something like this. It's possible. Um, obviously, I kind of actually uh, like it. Uh, it would make sense um, with the the Nasdaq. What's going on? You know, the count I just showed for the Nasdaq. And here we could expect at that point for their offside once again a major bull market. Is it going to happen? I don't know. Will it happen? I have no clue. Um, so I guess that's about it for the S&P. Let's take a quick look at the Dow and the um, DAX. So the Dow. So that's a Dow. So far so good. One, two, three, four, five. Looks good. Um, so the elections are in November. So I wonder if we're gonna let it's gonna last till November, and maybe at that point rally. It's going to be interesting. Um, yeah, that would be quite interesting. Yeah. Um, one, two, three, four, five. I don't know why that's this color. Well, yeah, one, two, three. So again, one, two. So pretty much same direction for every um, all the Americans. Um, if we take a look at the DAX, okay. So that's not it. This bit different. So if that's the count, then we should expect a low in place uh, sooner than with. I mean. Then we could expect it. Um, let's see, 17. Let's work with the number. 16.5 would be nice, but that was the would be way of kind of validation. Um, so maybe 17 uh, two. Um, so 17,200 uh, euros, because that's a DAX. Be nice if we look at equal. You know, compare the length of C against A. We passed equality. And we have 1.618 at uh, 17,300. So ideally, that's where I would like to see some sort of um, support stepping into the market, as well as if you can see that we do have a gap here to fill, which doesn't mean it's going to get filled, but it might. Um, so that's a DAX. Uh, we showed the Dow, certain assets to the S&P. 
Um, hope you guys appreciate it. And again, sorry if for the absence, but uh, it is in a way just fight. I'm just really busy with school. Um, as a matter of fact, I want to, I would, I wouldn't mind to introduce here on the channel my uh, dividend growth portfolio, um, and maybe also bring some more uh, quantitative type of style when it comes to trading and investing. Again, obviously, it wouldn't be none of this would be financial advice. We're just showing you uh, some other tools that exist. Um, they are not perfect. Um, it's not the holy grail. Otherwise, uh, first of all, I wouldn't be telling you, and then I wouldn't be here once again. Uh, but uh, I think there's pretty. If you're interested in trading, if you're interested in investing, if you're inter interested in the financial market, you might nevertheless enjoy them. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you want to stay updated. And uh, I'll see you in the next one for the crypto uh, update. Thanks.